sitting with us. And firstly, congratulations on the Master of Horror Award. You Thank deserve you. it. That's great. And happy 30th anniversary and reanimator. Yeah, I that's know. crazy. Who would have thunk? That's so great. Um, Jeff? Um, I figured just because we're talking about Master of Horror Award, talk about horror with you a little bit. And just horror in your career, especially the stuff that you feel was effective, um, obviously with uh, the H.P. Lovecraft stuff that you did. Uh, there's always like, the psychosexual kind of horror that, uh, that I thought you did better than anybody, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, oh, thank you. And uh, just your thoughts on horror in general. What is it that's scary, favorite horror stuff? I think everything is scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, um, life is scary. You know, I think that's the, and I guess the thing that's the most scary is death, right? Yeah. And I guess that's what horror represents to us, really. And, and Stephen King said that horror stories are a way for us to rehearse, have rehearsals for our own deaths, yeah. which I think is a good way to look at it. So you're clearly you're one of your big secret weapons, and you've talked about this before in the past, is your, your casting. And uh, can we talk a little bit about that? I mean, I think the, Jeffrey the, the, Combs, I mean... Well, I think that I, I always say... It, that good acting is the best special effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because an actor can make you believe anything, a really good actor. And in horror movies, it's the, some of the things that you're asking the audience to believe are so fantastic, you know, or far fetched, or impossible. So you really need to have some great actors. Yeah. And you've worked with certainly some of like uh, the best. Uh, I've been catching up on your, on your work uh, all the past like months since we, we basically got announced. Anthony Perkins, yeah. Charles Dance, I know. George Wedd, people that, I mean, Anthony Perkins obviously you associate with horror, but a lot of them you don't normally. Uh, like George Wendt. Like, 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 yeah, like George George Wendt's done quite a bit of horror, actually. Oh, sure. He did House. Yeah, he did. A couple of other things. Yeah. 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 And, um, you know, we did, uh, you know, I've done, gosh, King of the Ants with King him, of the Ants with Space Truckers. Uh, you know, he's um, amazingly, you know, versatile actor. Did you did you have a hand in the uh, the, the Reanimator musical the, the show? I did. And his casting? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. George was very much uh, you know very encouraging on that, very helpful, and he introduced me to Graham Skipper, who ended up playing Herbert West. Yeah. And uh, yeah, George is a good friend of mine. We've known each other since our days in Chicago when he was at Second City, and I was doing the organic theater. Yeah, and some of the your early career, the Chicago stuff. The, David Mamet stuff was sort of the, That's the, right. the early stuff that got new yeah. attention than you later did Ed, Edmund, which was a... Yeah, that was really, that? that must have been amazing. I mean, it was great to be able to come back to David Mamet and work with him again. Because um, I worked with him at the very beginning of his career. And, uh, you know, he was this you know young kid who had no doubts about himself. And, and uh, I always compare him to Mozart. You know, he was like, you know, he would write something and... Uh, and the people would say, "What you know? What what is this, David? What is this?" And he would say, "It's good writing. That's what it is." <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I don't want to underplay the master horror thing, but it, you didn't just do horror. Like you, things like the, the mammoth stuff was fantastic. King of the Ants, it, I, yeah, it is horror, it's, it's but, horrifying. but but it's yeah. be definitely horrifying. Yeah, but not a typical horror film. But you also did kid stuff that was great too, right? As a kid like Space Truckers and cool. yeah. uh Hunter the Kids. And Robot Jocks. Robot yeah, we love Robot Jocks. Yeah. We were talking about that on the way yeah. out. Yeah. Robot Jocks. That's a fun off kilter kids movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely the kind of kid movie I would have loved when I was a kid. I think Pacific Rim kind of pulled from uh, Robot did that. Oh, a little no. bit. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> have you ever talked to Del Toro about that? I have not, no. <laughs> Uh, and he has not talked to me either. <laughs> well, we'll get on the horn with him. He was clearly a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. great. Um, oh. I was going to say about Robot Jacks, it's yeah. coming out on Blu-ray in September. Ooh. Is that like a, sh who's putting it out? Is it a Shout Factory? Yeah, Shout Factory. Oh, oh man, because Empire yeah. Pictures kind of, well, Robot Jacks was the last of Empire it was, Pictures. It was, it was, it was, yeah. was towards the, yeah. I mean, Empire went out of business before the film was finished, mm -hmm. and um, it ended up being released by a, a company called Epic, mm -hmm. and um, now it belongs to MGM. Are, is there some extra, uh, some good, good? Yeah, new, I, just new did, I just did. I just did commentary awesome. track, and there's. Uh, the, I know they're talking to 
the special effects guys on it. Um, so there's going to be some behind the scenes. Yeah, that material. Looks great. that stop motion stuff in that movie is out of this world. Like, I just CGI doesn't capture. No, well, the thing that would, would you know it was Dave Allen who was through the mastermind behind that. He shot it, uh, you know, instead of you know most stop motion is done in very controlled conditions indoors, you know, on a s stage, a tabletop. He shot it in the Mojave Desert, mm -hmm. you know, with real skies and real clouds and real mountains in the background and real sunlight which allowed us to get tremendous depth of field so that uh, you could have the robots you know close to the camera to make them look enormous and real people in the background um, so it was just ingenious but it was I mean, what was supposed to have taken him six months to shoot ended up taking him two years oops <laughs> yeah but it paid off yeah and that shows yeah the movie does have a really cool scale to it I rear screen projection with a lot of it like elevators going up and I wasn't quite sure how you were like pulling some of that stuff off it's like there is a, quite a scope to that movie that I love yeah no it was really it was a labor of love and it took you know with all of the stops and starts mm -hmm. it took three years to, to make that film wow yeah um, I'm sorry Nervous. I have a question. What do you uh, um, What do you think of the current state of horror? Do you have any? Uh, 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 there current filmmakers. I am, anything that's caught your eye that you've enjoyed? Well, I'll tell you what I really like is it is that it has become uh, the, the women are really stepping up now. Mm -hmm. You know, which I think is great. Jennifer Kent. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, she's great, and. Um, I mean, I've seen several films directed by women that are just terrific. Catherine Bigelow's out of this world. You know, I saw a movie called uh, Honeymoon, which, yeah. is, which is really brilliant. Yeah, um, I haven't seen Honeymoon. Yeah, women director on that as well. Wasn't uh, the New Zealand film, the House, Housebound? Housebound? Housebound, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And strong female characters. And they, cool. and they told me that at this festival there are more women attendees than men, yeah. which I think is, you know, it's a first, I think, as far as I can. Kar Karin Kusama has a movie called Invitation. We haven't seen it yet, but we've heard really good things about it. It's yeah, supposed yeah, to be great. Yeah. I, and I, yeah, I agree. I think that's great. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a whole new, new world. Yeah. And we're really excited about your uh, the big screening tomorrow. We're going to oh, go do your yeah. chat with Mick Garris. We're ecstatic about that. Yeah. Last year it was Joe Dante, and that was a lot of fun. And I haven't seen Reanimator um, on the big screen in years. We we do a, a Halloween uh, thing down in, in Southern Utah, and we actually showed it at one time. Cool. And there were a lot of people there who'd never seen it, and they were just I mean, it was like <laughs> seeing it for the first time. I, I remember seeing that movie with uh, the Academy of horror I think did a screening like when it just before it came out yeah yeah and the like the audience reaction uh, there were two films that year y your film and uh, Return of the Living Dead I think both and both movies just got the, the crowd was just going nuts and I missed that like I mean we get it once in a while but not not to that not to that level yeah. So, but it's great. I can't wait to watch it in the theater. And you know you're going to have the perfect crowd there because everyone is there for it. Tomorrow, well, it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I noticed looking up a lot of your work. Um, obviously Lovecraft. Uh, a lot of it comes from books. Lovecraft with a lot of it. Uh, Daughter of Darkness. Watching that. That was a lot like Interview with a Vampire, especially towards the end. Um, Stuck was a book. Uh, well, Stuck was and King the Ants was Stuck was actually a true story. Well, well, yeah, well, well, yeah, uh, it was a true story. Yeah, it was, it was actually newspapers that, that yeah. where we got that story. Uh -huh. uh, but um, no, I, I, I you know, uh, reading is a, is a great source of material, and so is you know, real life. You can't find anything that's more bizarre than what happens true every day. Stranger than fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Aaron Morris. <laughs> yeah, his documentaries are insane. <laughs> Um, are you working on anything currently? Like, well, yeah, stuck was a true story, and then is the last thing you did taste the, the yes. that play that was that was also a true story, the, the cannibal one. I don't know if that was a true story or not. I don't. Think I thought that was based on the, the cannibal thing that I'd heard about. Oh, oh taste. Yes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I thought you were, yeah, taste is absolutely a true story. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got yeah. yeah. I was, was going to say I read that book as a part of the novel. Yeah. Well, this, this based on a book called Cannibalism. Cannibal? Taste? Yeah. 
I, you know, I'm not familiar with that book, but again, we t mm -hmm. the, the writer, I think, was taking it from the headlines, you know, or yeah. reading yeah. about them. Like, um, a very, very talented writer in Benjamin Brand, um, who wrote the play. Um, and um, I think it's a very, very powerful piece of, of theater. Yeah. We had people passing out. Yeah, well, <laughs> That's reading the greatest it, form of you flattery. Would, like cook well, like stuff like live, so the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I and, yeah, we had a working that. kitchen, yeah. and so they're cooking, you know, things. Uh, you know, uh, you know, they're cutting things off and cooking them up. And <laughs> 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 um, well, I, any chance you'll ever come back to Reanimator and close it out with some style? I don't. Do one more. I don't think you can ever close out Reanimator because you, you know because it's. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, death is just the beginning, as I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, there were rumors going around years back about a House of the Reanimator. Yeah, I House of the Reanimator. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that you were directly involved. I think that uh, might have been. No, I was involved. I, oh. I, I was, um, I was pushing to get that made. I love that. I love and, the whole. Yeah, it was just sad that we couldn't get it to happen. I think it'd be great to do it now because of the climate we're living in right now. I think you could have some real fun with. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. No, it's true. It, you, you know. Um, there's a theory I have that horror seems to do best under repressive governments. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's a it's a way of form of rebellion, really. Yeah. Um, but some of the best horror was done, you know, during the Reagan years and Bush years, um, and this that's what the, this inspired that idea was thinking about the Bush administration. Mm -hmm. oh, that'd so, be so great. I would love to see that happen. Don't give up on that. Yeah. On that. <laughs> Push that. Well, now I'm, there's another bush on the horizon, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. So maybe you can hit that next. Yeah. Uh, what are you? What's currently happening? I'm working on a couple of things that, that are getting close, but I can't really discuss them in any detail. Um, but one of them is a thing for television, which I think could really be exciting. Hmm. Wow. Jeff. Um. This is actually probably fairly. Big one, but if they don't stop, we'll see if we can still talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, working with Charles Band. <laughs> I've heard, I've actually known a few people who have worked with him before, and I just, I, you hear different things depending on who, but you, I think you may be like the filmmaker that worked with him, like the bit, probably the biggest filmmaker to ever work with him, and through the most amount of time from Reanimator to. Well, the last project I believe was Castle Freak. Castle yeah, Freak, yeah, which is 95? A crazy movie. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we were. It was about ten years mm -hmm. altogether, uh, and I'm still friends with Charlie. Yeah, you know, and um, I actually appeared in one of his movies as myself. Yeah. Which it's um, called Trophy Heads. I think it's it was a uh, what do you call it? Um, like a seri a serial that was on mm -hmm. a web a webisode series, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I had fun with that. Yeah, I want to see okay. that. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're actually uh, she asked us to wrap up. Wrap up. Okay. Um, do you have a final? Can you maybe just before we part ways? Um, you know, obviously you're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Reanimator. Can you just talk about that shoot, like uh, that time in your life, and and <laughs> maybe tell us a, tell us maybe just one fun little story? Because it's so the movie's got so much energy. It's so much fun. Well, it was shot in 18 days. It was a very fast shoot. And um, the thing I remember the most about it was that my shoes were always sticking to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so great. I think that's the best way to... That's a great way to... <laughs> <end>. <laughs> and I'm hoping my feet are sticking on the floor during the screening. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you so much for meeting. Yeah, yeah good meeting you guys. It's amazing. No, we're... we're you we're, came we're, a long way. This is really... You know, oh, we love... Um, you know, we're f film fans in general, but obviously we have a special fondness for... Oh, okay. Brower, and it's this is a great festival. It's oh, a yeah. lot of fun. It's intimate. You can't do this at Sunday.